plants. So I've got some beautiful bread here. It's called a ciabatta loaf. And I'm just cutting it into pieces. I like to get as thin as possible. However you want is fine. But basically, all I'm doing here is getting it into an oven to toast it up so you just have toasts. And I'm going for toast without any butter on it or anything because I'm going to make a spread that people can put on later. And don't forget, I'm making a brunch here that can be out buffet style. And anybody can eat it whatever time they get up. That's part of the beauty of a brunch at home on a holiday weekend is that Basically, it's leisurely. Nobody has any pressure. So I just get all these pieces here onto a baking sheet. It's easier than just toasting everything. All right, I promised a goat cheese spread. What I'm doing here is just riffing off of bagel and cream cheese, I guess, and, and smoked salmon, which is, is the best way to put it. I have beautiful smoked salmon that I'm going to serve at this brunch, and that'd be something that I invest in. It's the holidays, and I've said it before. I like to take the time to get some nice ingredients, maybe stuff I wouldn't normally use on an everyday basis, but it makes it a little bit more special for my guests. So instead of using cream cheese, I just decided to use goat cheese, just a very mild goat cheese. It has a little bit of tang, and then mix it up here with some fresh dill which just gives a very nice fresh flavor and sort of seasonal. Every time I smell dill, I don't know why I think of cool weather and just, you know, the kind of foods you eat in the winter. And I particularly love the way it tastes with either cream cheese or with um, the cheese I'm going to use today, which is goat cheese. Just 10 ounces here. And bring to room temperature as much as you can. It'll make it a little bit easier to mash it up. And I'm going to put black pepper in here, but I've chosen not to use salt because the smoked salmon has a lot of salt. And I just want this to be a nice layer between the nice toasties that I'm making and then this smoothed on and then drop a piece of smoked salmon on top. That's the idea I've got going here. So there's no reason why this can't get done in advance. Trust me, you're going to make a huge difference in your life just having that all done, especially in the holidays when you've got your family in for a long celebration. Anything you can get done is the way you really need to go. So I'm, I've got this mashed up. I'm going to get some plastic on this, get it into the fridge. It's all ready so that when I want to serve it, it's fine. And that also will be just fine staying out at room temperature when I have the whole buffet set up. All right, now I'm going to keep pulling things together here and get my smoked salmon platter together. I absolutely love red onion with my salmon. I love to um, make salmon and have all kinds of condiments with it. Sometimes some sliced lemons, some capers. It just is nice to layer it all up. So that's nice. And what I'll do is just take my final platter here and just sort of keep them both on the same platter. I think the red onion looks so beautiful with the color of the smoked salmon. And then just get this onto the tray. This is one of the favorite things. My family knows that when the holidays hit, I'm investing in some beautiful slices of smoked salmon like this. You don't need much, a little bit goes a long way, but it's a special time of year. And so I'll keep putting this on just to give you an idea of how I serve everything. The bread has come out, it's crispy. I'll just stack it right up here on a wooden board and then get my wonderful dilled goat cheese into a bowl. And you can picture this all out on the counter and then everybody just helps themselves. Everything's just laid out. If it seems like there's going to be a couple hours when people, you know, haven't come around, I'll just cover it up. And this little bit of goat cheese on the bread, a little bit of salmon and onion on the goat cheese, it's so good.